So am I like the only woman that no longer gets approached by men? Hey there, so I'm just driving home from work and I just realized, I was just thinking about it. I have not been touched by a man in over six years. because I had to actually sit and think about this and I had to ask myself, when is the last time a man came up to me and wanted to get to know me or exchange numbers? And I mean touched in that way. And a lot of people will say, oh, it's probably by choice. It is, but it's also not. I just, I, it's just, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's very difficult to date. And it's been a long time. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. It definitely has me questioning myself. And you know, when you, don't want to deal with a lot of bullshit anymore, it, it's even harder, so. Like, am I not as attractive as I thought I am? Am I looking old? Am I intimidating? Like, what is it? You know, it's just, it's just come to my attention that like, wow, not at all. Not even a little hug. Haven't kissed anybody since I got the dentures. So now I'm starting to realize that since men don't come up to me, I have to be the one to go up to them. And that makes me super nervous because it's like, how do I know I'm not going to get rejected if you didn't come up to me in the first place and then I make the decision to go up to you? How do I know I won't face rejection? Okay, haven't had a tongue kissing since I got these babies. All right, yeah. So can I get some tips and tricks, some advice on how to approach a man that I think is cute because I have no idea how to, like I'm scared and I feel like I can only approach men if I'm drunk, which is not often. No, we're not gonna give you any tips. Figure it out on your own, just like we had to do. Check out this video. It says, where are the men? 90% women. This is a club in Atlanta that's full of women and only a sprinkle of men attend it. I wonder who's buying the ladies drinks. <laughs> I don't think the women really thought that it was gonna go this far. Men are at home after work, minding their own business and enjoying their peace. Okay, so I recently went to a singles event and it was 90% women. And I was wondering, like, where's all the dudes? Um, I don't know, but they're not there. And that's cool, not like I care. Where are the men? What happened? I don't know who's to blame. Men don't want to be men anymore. I, I feel like we're around a bunch of Peter Pan. <laughs> what so happened to, to men and values and family and taking care of their women and just being the man and the and the protector and women saying, oh, I don't need a man. I don't need a man for nothing. Yes, we do. I say of course all the we time. Need men. Where y'all fellas at? Okay, y'all may be in the bed getting ready to go to work. Oh, y'all probably already at work. But why is, is it we the, are we the ones that's out here getting the job done, making moves, going places? Like, it was just weird that every time I stopped, I just had a bunch of women that surrounded me. But I was just like, where are all the men? Where, where y'all at? There's no reason there was so much female on the streets last night making trips or wherever they were going. And y'all know where to be found. Where are the single men at? in Atlanta that are not absolutely unhinged. Where, where do they be at? That's it. That's the post. <laughs> I wonder if guys ever look at a woman who is beautiful and then she opens her mouth and then he's like, what a shame. What a shame. I just have a question. Um, for the men that woke up today and think they're the prize, how are you feeling, bitch? Did you get your good morning text? Did you get the hair? Are you good? Do you need lunch? Did you get some flowers delivered to you today? I made a TikTok of me packing my boyfriend's lunch for him before he go to work. And the girls came in my comments and was like, oh, you should be a wife first. You need a ring. Um, I only do this for my husband. Oh, he need to be paying all the bills first. He <laughs> We're talking about putting food into a lunchbox. Y'all a fuck. Eat peen. Some of y'all eat a little ass. Spend the night, lay up. Have kids. Have kids. But a lunchbox is where you draw the line because you don't have a ring. <laughs>
<laughs> what happened to just doing stuff out of love? Like, everything doesn't have to be transactional. Get off social media and touch grass. Thank you. Look, I'm gonna try to leave me the fuck alone, okay? Leave me alone. You motherfuckers don't wanna go out on no dates, don't wanna have no fun or nothing. Y'all just wanna text a bitch all day, what you doing, and talk motherfucking nasty and want somebody to talk. Bitch, I can't even like you first before you get to talk nasty. How's work? Bitch, work is work. Don't ask me about motherfucking work. I'm doing the same thing I was doing before I went to work and the same motherfucking thing after I left motherfucking work. What your mammy doing, bitch? Don't, don't keep what you doing, me, hoe. Okay, I'm getting sick of you. I can't get my number out to near another mother, okay? Because y'all getting on my goddamn nerve. Leave me alone. You tell a man, oh, I need you to pay for the babysitter so I can come out with you. And he's like, oh, no, that's, that's too much. That's where I draw a line. That's because you're not worth that to him. If the woman of his dreams was standing in front of him saying, you need to cover the babysitter. It's $15 an hour. <laughs> He's going to be like, okay, plus the tip. You want to only be the man's dream girl when you even give him a shot at dating you. So setting this standard in the beginning is so important. Never pay for the babysitter. Hey, let me ask you this. How are your kids are going to be an asset to me if I was dating you? I would never date a man that ever asked me no craziness like that. Uh, see, I would never. Because you would problem. never ask me how my kids would be an asset to you. That's the thing. That's insanity. But see, I'm coming from a logical no. standpoint. I, you have I don't to ask those questions. Any woman and let, and let me say one more is going to let you say, how can your kids be an No, no, sweetie. No. How this man requested that on the second date, the woman come with no makeup on. How do y'all feel about that? How do we feel about that? <laughs> yeah, let's it's talk just... about it. How dare you request how I show up to right. the date, first of all. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't thought about it. I was just, like, listening to the segment. Right. But I do believe that there is some validity in understanding who a woman is and what she does look like. Right. Before you are too far along. Right. Right? I agree. Yeah. Um, I think requesting it is kind of outrageous mm -hmm. you're not going to tell me what i can and can't wear what i put on my body at all <laughs> that's just not happening right. um but i feel like i mean eventually i'm going to want to be comfortable around you so i'm going to you know not wear makeup i'm going to be in my sweatpants and my you know baggy t-shirt just because that's how i am on a regular basis you know right. but for you to request that i don't think that's appropriate can someone tell me where we find the real men i have been out on so many dates this past year with men who have told me that I'm intimidating because I'm real and honest and I know who I am. I'm confident. Y'all, why do I feel like we are not making the men big as much as we need to? I am the win here. Like, you need to be chasing me. This person doesn't want to commit. This person is married. This person has kids by everybody. This person is not with their baby mama, but live with their ma baby mama. This person uh, is hiding from 10 folks because they done did something they weren't supposed to do. <sighs> Gentlemen, please <laughs> do not let feminism, social media tell you or make you think that we don't need you. Trust me. Women are craving masculinity. They're craving men. When's the last time a man upgraded you? It's really common for us women to upgrade men based off our looks, our social status, or whatever. But when's the last time a man really upgraded you? That's a real question. I just reposted a video pretty much saying very similar things, but I'm going a bit deeper. Pretty much he said, it only takes one man to really show out um, for you to really understand your standards or to never settle. And I could not agree more. I think it's something that the more you date, the more you realize, I already know what asset I am to a man, but truly, how are you really elevating my life. Not just making my life easier, but how are you really taking me to the next level as a man? And I think a lot of women haven't experienced that. You still haven't answered my question. How are you elevating a man? Be specific. 
I remember, um, I think out, out of all the dates I've been on. So basically you're just a serial dater. Only one man stands out probably in the past three years where, and that's, 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 that's even including men that I was taking very seriously. Okay. Um, but this one man, I did speak about him before and I, I, you know, nickname him as V, but I remember being so in awe of how he was just coming out the gate with the energy with that investment and with his integrity i was just so like okay don't get me wrong i've met a lot of su successful men i've met a lot of men who um i think by normal standards would be impressive if you didn't look deeper you know like this is gonna sound so petty but whatever okay so <laughs> when you're dating for lifestyle <laughs> okay it can get a little bit mm, annoying because you would assume men that have made it or who have the resources to partake in certain luxuries and perks would be doing so not the case personally as a pet peeve of mine if i'm putting you on to all of the nice fine dining establishments or if you're traveling, it doesn't make sense to me that you do not know where to stay in big cities. It does not make sense that you do not know about boutique hotels or that you do not know certain things a man should know about suits or like how to dress for a date or like, you, you know, it, it just, it sounds so petty. At least you're admitting it. But I know it's not. Like, it means so much to me. <laughs> like, I do not know how to express this. But, um, of course, like, we could talk about a man being, a man being really generous and we know all those things. But I think when it comes to really putting me on and really impressing me, it's like, do something I cannot do for myself for real. Like, if I can do it and I'm not at your level financially and I can still manage and finagle to do certain things, I would expect you to already know 10, be 10 steps ahead of me. Be 10 steps ahead of me, okay? That's all I gotta say with that, but just ask yourself, like, when is, when's the last time a man has really, like, impressed you? Maybe with experiences, maybe with finances, I, I don't know, but like when has a man really just freaking showed out in all ways? The man that I was referring to earlier, V, um, he showed out in all ways, okay? So <laughs> I have not met another successful man that has done that, which is so bizarre. This new generation of men want you to chase them so bad. This shit crazy. Fellas, listen. Whenever these women hop on the internet, bro, and say you sassy because you want women to chase you and all that shit, boy, don't never listen to that bull. Yeah, they should be chasing you. You don't hear what the fuck they be saying on the internet? They, a man supposed to take care of the household financially. He's supposed to take care of everything. The wife should be able to work, save her money while she spend his. They ain't going 50-50 on the bills, remember? So these just want you to chase them? To pay their bills? <laughs> Sayonara, sister.